Hi everyone, Corey here. Today on our financial segment, we are talking with Denise from Elite Financial again. And today she is going to be discussing where you should put your money. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned. Uh, with Elite Empire Financial. And once again, I am so happy to be invited on the show by Corey Summers. Thank you so much for having me. Last time we talked about the rule of 72. So how to grow your money and how to compound that money. Also, the scary thing about losing money and actually giving away your money to people that are already wealthy by getting high interest credit cards and debt. But this time I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. So we talked about the interest rate of where to put your money, but you guys are probably wondering, well, where the heck can I actually get those high interest rates and what are these different markets that you're even talking about? So there's three different places to put your money. The first place to put your money is in a fixed account. So obviously we're very familiar with fixed accounts. We have bank accounts. That is the most readily available place that we can put our money besides our mattress or our boot, which I ran into quite a bit if you're afraid of banks. But either way, you go to a bank, it's easy to put your money in, in and you know, set up an account, but they're not gonna give you a whole lot for putting money there. But it's safe, right? That's what we think. So that's the only place that we actually put our money for fixed. But fixed actually means that they're gonna give you an interest rate that's just flat. It doesn't grow, but you also don't lose any money there. So where are other places that are fixed rates? We also have CDs that are also given by banks Right now, I think that they're doing less than 2%. Every year it's fluctuating, but you have that stable percentage that's never really changing, okay? So now let's move on to another market. Another market that a lot of you guys are probably pretty familiar with on a conceptual level, right? So this is the variable market. So you guys can put your money in the roller coaster and gambling of money, essentially. But did you guys know that for the most part, most people's retirement are put into variable accounts. So people are literally gambling their entire 20, 30, 40 years of working life retirement in variable accounts. So a lot of people would argue with me on this and it, that's okay. I do believe in putting money in different pots, right? But this is just one pot we're gonna talk about. So this variable account. So you can have great gain when the market's doing well, which means that you're getting 29%, that's wonderful. But when the market drops like it did in 2008, and you have a negative in your account, negative 48%, 38%, right? People are losing half of the retirement money, and some people lost it all, just by the way that it was set up with that specific firm, right? So, I don't know about you guys, that's not necessarily the safest place to put all of your chips, okay? So, uh, but I do understand that people do wanna take at least a little bit of that market, capture that. You know, there's stocks, there's Apple, AT&T, there's, uh, I mean, I think Lyft obviously just went public. So you can partake in those kinds of things, but not necessarily putting all of your money in that specific place, right? Okay, so obviously, once again, we're just gonna recap. Fixed, you don't have, you know, really any great gain or any loss. Variable, you have great gain, but also great loss. But that's like a bipolar system, right? So now there's another place to put your money. And a lot of, I didn't even know about this. I was actually kind of angry after getting an MBA, not knowing that another, another set of, another market essentially existed. Though it's not another market, it's just another way to invest your money. So these are indexed accounts, right? And not every company has indexed accounts. So you'd have to ask about this. But essentially an indexed account, right? They will give you a cap of how much money they're gonna give you from the market. Right? So if the market's doing like 20%, they're gonna give you like 15, right? So you're not gonna get the full 20%, but what are they guaranteeing? They're gonna guarantee that your floor or amount of money that you can lose is zero, one, two, or 3%. What does that mean? It means that when your friends over here are at negative 20%, you're sitting pretty at zero, one, two, three percent right? And why that's important is that you don't have to take the time to recover from loss, right? So people that lost a lot of money in 2008 or lost money in general, what's the one thing that they have that's actually gonna grow their money over time? Obviously we know the interest, but it's gonna take time. So to get them back to where they were, 
it's gonna take five, 10 years just to get back to where they were. So why an indexed account is really great. Yes, you're not getting the full gains, but you're always progressing and you're never having to recover from loss, right? So this is kind of a safer approach. And once again, I wouldn't say that there's one that's better than the other necessarily, right? It's just what's suitable to the person, what's the mix, and also what's the person's need. You have to be educated about where you're putting your money and have an educated choice and not just invest your money inside of a 401k and kind of wonder what's happening with your money. So my challenge to you guys is to ask where your money is, right? And make sure that it's structured properly so that you can actually take a hit when, when this downturn comes, all right? It's been a pleasure talking about the different types of ways to you know, invest your money. And thank you so much, Corey, for having me. This is Denise Berry with Elite Empire Financial. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to leave your comments below, your thoughts. Did you learn something today? Do you have a better understanding of where you should put your money, what type of accounts? Are you maybe interested in setting up a free consultation to learn more and see what the options are for you? Let me know. Also, you know, real estate is just one small part of what I do. My bigger goals for everybody is to your whole financial picture and to get to the place of financial freedom. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe below and click the bell if you haven't done so already. Videos are updated weekly, including our financial series. See you next time.